Animal Crossing New Horizon has everything I actually wanted in a game and I didn't even knew that this would be the perfect game for me. Now that I can actually go out because of the coronavirus, I mean I can't get out a lot, I'm searching for a game that will actually kind of replace this part this is missing in my life at the moment, kind of a second life. So I want to share some of the moments that I had during the three days that I'm playing and later I will talk about in more details about the things that I enjoyed the game. So here you can see I'm going to fatigue Nuke, uh, my first bill, uh, which is uh, of course uh, uh, during the game you need to pay some uh, bills to Team Nuke. Uh, this is kind of a thing that we're going to do over and over in order to expand uh, your house, build a better home for yourself in the island. Uh, so it's all cost money. But there's no rush, there's no timer uh, ticking in the background. You can take your time and pay when you are ready. But of course, if you pay, you're gonna move on to a better uh, residential place. So make sure you're gonna pay this as early as you can so you can have a better and larger home uh, to live in. When you start, you're already going to craft uh, some basic things. Uh, this is uh, the flimsy fishing rod, which uh, I'm going to use in order to capture uh, some fish. And this is actually my favorite activity, especially on the Nintendo Switch, when you have this uh, mini game of capturing fish, with the, we can feel the rotation based on the size of the fish and when the fish actually capture uh, the bait. And it's really fun uh, mini game which I can just do hundreds of times, thousands of times, I never get tired of this. Uh, you can see as you go along, you're going to see more and more uh, things that you can actually craft. Uh, you can discover more things uh, by either tenants giving you those receipts, you can find them falling from gifts from the sky, even by shaking trees, finding a bottle uh, in, the, in the shore. Uh, so there are many, many surprises in this game. Uh, here I actually crafted a medicine and actually need this medicine you can see my eye got hurt uh, this was actually from the bees the annoying bees sometimes you shake the tree or hit it with the axe and those bees uh, come out and sting you even if you try running away from them they're gonna catch you and gonna do this look just shaking the tree and then uh, a surprise as you can see oh no this one sorry this one <laughs> yeah they're gonna run after me right now and they got me and I thought they were gonna run away from them but oh no so you need this medicine in order to cure your poor eye the this got hurt oh. this is my inventory uh, actually chose the um, uh, the fishing rod and then I'm trying to capture a fish here, what I do from time to time. This is a fantastic minigame, so addicting, but actually I captured, whew, yeah, all tire. Sometimes you can capture them, but if you capture those, you can actually use uh, use those to craft different things. So you can see you just capture this and you learn a different recipe and we can create something with it. So it's pretty cool. Always surprising stuff happening to you every single day, every single hour, everything you're gonna find something interesting that keeps you exciting. Now the game is beautiful visuals, I really like this game because of the visuals, kind of a, you know, a cartoonish but kind of round and gradient ones, not sharp ones, oh, this is beautiful. You can see me speaking with the tenants and you can interact with the tenants, there are plenty of things to say to you, sometimes they give you things, uh, they express their moods, sometimes they don't even want to talk to you. Uh, actually Sylvia sometimes don't want, actually most of the time she doesn't want my presence so I usually just get out of there by just saying it all from time to time so it's good to interact with them because they have some things to give you sometimes and you need to keep uh, good uh, relationships with them now this game is in real time this means I said it so it's the same time in Europe here so when it's night, it means that I'm playing at night, and it's beautiful at night. You have the date-night cycle that actually happens, again, at the same hours as your area. You decided in the beginning of the game. Uh, so actually, when I play during the day, it's a day uh, in the game. When I play at night, it's night. Uh, so I enjoy fishing at night. It's a very relaxing experience. Beautiful atmosphere. Just, just fun going out at night and enjoy fishing near the river. Now, as you continue playing the game, you're going to see many and many and many more receipts that you can use. You can decorate your house, the exterior surroundings. Uh, you can be just uh, put.
pouring water on the flowers to encourage them to grow. You know, it's something to tell to yourself before playing this game. I'm not going to enjoy doing this, but I'm telling you, you're going to enjoy everything when it comes together. It makes you enjoy really the simple things. Now, I recommend using headphones, the highest quality uh, headphones that you have, because sound in this game is absolutely fabulous. And people are saying it's relaxing because it is a relaxing game. You just feel you're out night, uh, outside in the wild at night because of the sounds and the visuals. Although it's cartoonish, it still feels, I don't know, it feels like you're outside right at now, uh, night in this beautiful, beautiful island. Uh, and with all those sounds in the background, you're going to be... You're gonna be so relaxed after spending some time with this game. Just, just so much fun. By the way, those uh, clouds that you see actually leave shadow on the ground. I checked. <laughs> Here you can see me shaking trees. Sometimes you can get cool stuff from this, even a recipe, or um, you can get coins. Uh, so you can get rare stuff from it as well. So shake trees every now and then. You're encountering a bug. Oh, this actually the tarantula. This 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 dude is walking outside and he can run after you. So make sure you walk very closely. If it catches you, you go back to your home. So make sure it doesn't catch you. Here I'm actually visiting uh, Sylvia again, talking from time to time. And it's really this part of the game where you have tenants walking around the island. It's give you a sense of kind of a socializing. I'm telling you this because I live at home alone and right now with the coronavirus, you know, I'm not getting outside, let alone socializing with other people. Even if you have friends in the area, probably you're gonna, not going to invite them. So this is kind of a mini replacement, micro replacement, but it feel, feels good when you have the option not just to be alone on the island itself, regarding whatever everything is in your life, yeah? I'm telling you, just being able to interact with uh, characters in the game. And the thing, those is they, those are NPCs, are kind of program ones. But they, for some reason, I felt like they are so much alive. So this is part of the game that really makes you feel like uh, you are really socializing. Kind of that feeling. Uh, so it doesn't matter which are they are cartoonish and they are, uh, you know, they have program lines. You just feel they're kind of alive in a sense. Now, if you like. Uh, this fishing activity, you have plenty of them to do, and of course, you're going to capture the rare fish. They're kind of big, uh, uh, but again, there it takes some time. Oh, actually, here I was capturing just a boot, but even with a boot, you can create shoes, right? So you can actually craft something from it. So it's not just to capture and nothing to do with it. You can actually put it outside in your home, but you can actually craft new shoes with it. So of course it's time to craft some shoes. Uh, I already got uh, the needed ingredients, so you can see it's craftable there. So I need to do is just uh, click it and craft it, and then I'm gonna have new shoes which I can try. Again, you can combine different things that you find there, and there's always something surprising, you know, kind of a material that uh, is rare, you don't really expect to get, and then you discover a recipe for it, and then you can create it. So I created a recyc recycled boots here. So I was really excited because I'm gonna change my look now. And uh, this is the um, clothing menu, but actually when you craft it, you're gonna see it in the um, <coughs> this is actually what you are wearing, but of course I needed to tap the one that I just crafted in order to replace the ones that I'm actually wearing. So I just click wear and have this new cool brown outdoor shoes. I was really excited, <laughs> really excited. By the way, you can always change your shoes, even your look again. Once you get uh, the mirror, you can just change your entire look if you like. So it's not... Uh oh, here I'm actually at, at night. I was hunting for kind of a rare fish. Uh, uh, I didn't know, by the way, how different they are. I just know that the uh, controller uh, shakes really hard once you capture a bigger fish. So ears were actually shaking harder. That's why I enjoy playing this on the regular Nintendo Switch because of the vibration of the controller. It's so fun. In general, it's also fun in this game in, in general, but uh, in the um, fishing mini game, it's just it just built like it was built for it. It's so much fun. 
This is a present that comes from time to time from the sky and you need to use a slingshot in order to get it down. It's kind of confusing because you see the shadows, it's based on the light of course, but if you position yourself right and shoot up, uh, you can take it down and then you're gonna get something something special. Of course, a gift, you don't know what you're gonna get. But you know, that's part of the game, always surprises you with something new. Even if the moment you start getting, you know, okay, what I'm gonna do now, something great comes up and you find yourself uh, can entertained again it's just this game just keeps surprising you over and over and made i discovered so many things on the way that uh, just kept me blown away of how much depth this game has compared to what i thought yeah here i was actually fishing at night it's another relaxing experience oh this one actually another mini game where you hit it there's a kind of bug but it goes up very quickly so what you need to do is <laughs> is eat the tree uh, with the axe and then quickly switch um, and capture it you see you can switch to the net and then capture it if you do it in time you capture a bug and this is a new one when you see yes this means that this is a new discovered one so I was very excited to discover this now sometimes uh, your tools will break for example the axe so we can craft better ones higher quality ones so they're gonna break less often, but of course you need uh, rare materials for this. Uh, but when you find them very soon and you can craft this, so they won't break less often. <coughs> so sorry, so here I'm actually uh, crafting uh, an ax, uh, so it can last quite long, so. Now many of the things that you craft are I actually interactable, uh, interactive, so we can actually, for example, sit on the log, you can this uh, uh, campfire on fire uh, so it's really fun interacting with it some even you I got a something that plays music so I can buy music from the store and play it so it's really fun we're not actually just crafting you crafting things that can you can interact with another part of the game that I really enjoy again just enjoying myself I can spend like a minute like this and just enjoy it doesn't give me anything yeah actually it does give me it doesn't give me anything in game but it just it, it relaxes me You see, talking about the interaction, this is so cool playing on this. You know, at night, beautiful night, you hear the wind in the background, and you're just playing like crazy. <laughs> so much fun. Who, who knew I'm gonna enjoy this thing? I thought I'm just gonna go to battlefield and, and blast off some tanks and I'm enjoying these little, little, simple things. Uh, gee, it really surprised me, I'm telling you. <laughs> Sometimes you find your tenants in kind of awkward stuff, you know, they're doing different things. So not just sitting there and waiting for you, they're just going around the island doing their thing and they are doing their thing. Some are really doing some really silly stuff. And uh, it's something they say really silly stuff, but it's just fun. It's part of the fun. So you can make a different thing. Here you can actually teach you, give you some tips. This one I didn't know before, by the way, you can use egg in order to sneak behind bugs because I missed them like 10 times. I didn't know how to capture them. and she actually taught me uh, how to do this and it was much easier for me to just walk and then release A and can, can capture and they don't notice you. <laughs> Another thing you discover in the game. Of course, more thing to discover. This is another present that came from the sky. And sometimes you need to lower the angle in order to see it. It can be right above, you can't even see it. But uh, if you lower the angle, you can see it even far away. So this is another part of the game where the camera, although it's kind of fixed, you only have the uh, able to rotate it kind of uh, angular rotation up and down. It kind of supports the gameplay experience itself. Now the same goes with the tarantula, right? Because you can rotate the camera 360. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, you can actually miss her and she can run after you. Here I'm capturing another item instead of a fish. And of course, with every one of those, you can craft this different stuff. Another present comes from the sky, and this one gets you really excited because you don't know what you're gonna get. And even if you're just walking around, you know that something can happen that can surprise you. So that's why probably they made this one to keep always, uh, you know, exciting things flowing into the game, so you won't feel bored, uh, you know, even for one moment. I think this was the first time I actually changed my shirt, or oh, the second time I don't remember. Yeah, another cool shirt. 
and I really like changing the outfit. Yeah, yeah, this is second time because I already got the hat, the new hat, and I actually wore those a kind of a outdoor uh, uh, clothing. And of course, to protect from the coronavirus, I also put a mask. <laughs> I have to, right? Everybody puts masks now. This one actually, the, the first time I actually caught a, a big fish, I was so excited. I felt the controller, oh no, it, it's not the first one, but it was one of those. And it's actually, the controller shook so hard uh, that I knew I'm going to capture something uh, big. But again, if you capture the biggest one, which you're going to see a bit later, uh, the controller just shakes like mad. It's so much fun. This is why I love the playing with the controller. You can see bugs. Uh, moving around if you cut the tree by the way you have this you know part of the tree so some bugs can sit on it so if you if you if they don't have it you just walk on the ground but it's very easy to see them if they just sit on the tree uh, you can clearly see them if you come too close to them you're gonna fly away and disappear so you're actually capturing a fly so again it's just about watching them making sure you go closely sneaky and capture them So here's one example, I discover a bug on the tree, you can see there, it's on the tree, so I just change and capture it. I think if, it, if the bug faces the other direction, even if you walk fast, they won't notice you, but even if they look towards your direction and you move very slowly, you can capture them. But if you just run and they see you, uh, you're just gonna fly and you're gonna miss them, so make sure you are prepared to capture them. Sometimes I miss them. <laughs> So this is one of those moments where you just want not to do anything. After running so much, you just want to sit down. I'm just lying on a hashtag, changing the camera angle to low angle, listen to the sound of the wind and just relax. And trust me, it's very relaxing. I really just felt like I'm there. After this, going again, I'll do some fishing. Again, you need to make sure that the bait is aligned uh, in front of the fish. They're gonna bite it sometimes. Again, it's different from time to time. Uh, so make sure you just listen to see. And you also have a mark, I think, kind of a green mark where you see when you need to press. You need to press very quickly because if not, you're just gonna miss it. Or you just got a can, which I'm going to use uh, to create uh, something with it. I'm just going to the crafting and start crafting. So this shows you how you can actually craft things from, uh, I think almost everything you're gonna get. Uh, from, so I have actually things that I can't use yet, but I'm sure we're gonna find kind of a, kind of a uh, receipt later on, which I can use in order to uh, craft them. So make sure you just keep it keep it in your, uh, in the storage in your home, or just drop it in the garden uh, near your house, because many eventually we're gonna use it for something. And uh, instead of just farming for it later on, you know you're gonna have it in your inventory. So you can see this is the new thing, sluice plant, which I can create with just empty can and some weeds, which is very simple to get. Just scatter around the island. You can pick them up. I shall store them because if you pick lots of them, it takes some time until they grow again. So I'll keep them in the in my home uh, just in case I have some a bunch of them. As you can see, small trees. These are trees I actually planted myself, uh, and you can actually you can see them grow in real time. But when you come the next day, going to be a bit larger, a bit larger, until they get to be full-grown trees. I was very excited to see it for the first time. Actually, like a little tree that they planted. This is again one of the exciting things to wait for the tomorrow, to see what's tomorrow. There's no need to rush. It's part of the fun of the game is waiting to see what you're going to have tomorrow, uh, not to rush it. Now this is the battle I actually message battle I found on the beach and I opened it and you, have, you actually get something for it. This is a do it yourself uh, reset which uh, uh, give me something. Again, it's surprising because you don't know what you're going to get. Just you, know, you get excited when you find one. These are all you can uh, dig on the ground. Uh, you can actually dig uh, with a shovel. You can uh, get some fossils and other items you can find on the beach. Uh, this is. Uh, 
one of the uh, new characters that landed on the beach. So I woke him up and start talking with it. It's still there, by the way. It didn't go away. I think it didn't go away. It's still there. I can't remember. Anyway, he's just waiting for the boat to uh, actually uh, come and rescue him. This is actually the airport, which allows you to fly to other people's island and you uh, uh, procedure generated island so you actually when you fly you don't know which island you're going to get you can some really cool surprises with different type of trees different type of uh, things to uh, discover and capture so when you get this it costs 2000 uh, uh, the currency uh, nook miles yeah uh, and you can use it in order to visit those islands I did it several times a day usually this is one of the islands you can see. Uh, so again, you can find trees and things that you are not native to your island and you can just capture them and grow them in your island. So it's another cool thing. And you can capture something. Uh, this is bamboo, I have come a bamboo forest and I was able to um, uh, get the seeds for the bamboo and actually grow them in my island, which is not native to the island, but it takes time. Right now they are still very very small, so probably it's gonna take. I think it's gonna take a few weeks. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Maybe a week too. I don't know. They are not fully grown yet, just yet. Here you can see a relatively big shadow. This means it's gonna be a big fish. And now th the controller was shaking like crazy. I'm telling you. And then I got this huge, huge, huge fish. This is you. This is rare to get. Not too rare, by the way. You still can get it, but it's compared to the other ones. It's uh, it's it's very rare. Because I caught hundreds of fish and I didn't count a lot of those. Here I already mastered my technique of sneaking. And actually you don't need to sneak behind the butterfly. You can actually just run after it. Of course if you run close you can fly fast. But usually they fly kind of slow and it's not hard to get them. Now I uh, actually caught them because I needed them also for the museum, so I needed to capture them. I captured them many times, but I needed another version to give to the museum so they can be displayed there. Uh, these are, by the way, the trees that I told you, the bamboo trees, which I planted. So I wanted to plant them near the beach, so I planted a few of them. Later on, I brought more. So this is another great thing, which you can actually bring non-native uh, fauna to your island and actually grow them. And it will take time to grow. I don't know even if all of them are, maybe some of them are not achievable, I don't know. But I'll give it time and we'll see. This is I'm another island right now because I don't have the coconut trees. This is another island which I fly using nook miles and I'm actually fishing. And this is another shadow, big shadow, which means a big fish. And of course the controller is shaking like crazy at this moment, the Nintendo Switch controller. And indeed it was a huge, huge, huge fish. I was so happy. When I caught it, you don't understand. This is actually the pilot uh, for the island. Uh, I actually needed some tools because some of my tools break, but no worries, you have a crafting place there which you can craft. And you can also buy some tools using Nook Miles uh, from the pilot. Now I didn't expect this to be a huge one, but for my surprise, yeah, it was a huge one. And I see it's yes, this means it's a new one. I didn't have it before. It's a blue marine. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. So this game is built around, you know, exploration, crafting, and really cool and addicting mini games. And it's all just combined so well together. These and the exceptional visuals and the sound effects, you know, it's just gorgeous. Again, just make sure that you listen to the sound effect. You play this game with good headphones. I actually bought cheap ones uh, for 15 euros, a Sony one, but they do the job. It's much better than just listening, uh, you know, with the background noise and or even at night, I just enjoy listening with uh, listening to it. With oh, this is actually a cool mini game again. You, see, you saw it before when you need to hit the ha hit uh, the tree and then quickly switch uh, to the net in order to capture this bug. Now oh, this is was actually a spider. This is a new one. So there are different variations. This is the first time I actually captured a spider. Now for many things you do, you're going to earn Nook Miles and you're going to unlock the uh, Nook Miles Plus, which is a great way to quickly achieve Nooks, but just focusing on certain activities which you need to accomplish and then you're going to get it. Another present, I open it, I got a new cap. 
always happy to get new clothes. This one I really liked. So it's really cool. I was really happy and actually played with it many hours until I decided to change uh, the look. I got something else. By the way, if you upgrade your house, the house itself externally going to look the same. Uh, just going to have more space inside when you get in. This is another big shadow there. So I wonder what it is. Look how beautiful it is fishing at night. Lower the angle so you can really enjoy the view and the fishing experience at the same time. And it's worth it. Just worth it. Just worth it. Just worth it. Another big fish. Not the rarest one, but something that I actually uh, can get good money for it. Actually, by the way, don't know which one is worth more. So actually, when I sell it, I said one by one, so I know which items are actually worth more. I didn't find any way to do it, but to know ahead of time. So I just sell it before. I mean, I sell it. I just say that I want to sell it, see the price, and then decide uh, whether I want to sell it or not. But usually, I get the understanding which one worth the best. So I know to prioritize different type of uh, fish and bugs that they find, uh, I find around the island. Here is another night. I'm usually playing in the evening, so you can see. I'm just sitting down, relaxing. Although I needed to change it, you know, I just enjoy being there. Just, <laughs> poor, my eyes still hurt. I uh, just uh, enjoy staying there, enjoying the view. Because it was relaxing. Just one minute of pure relaxation with this beautiful night sky and the moon and the little lake and just fishing now I can really understand why people enjoy fishing after doing this in the game then the fish came and I captured it oh it wasn't a fish I forgot <laughs> I don't remember actually everything I just captured another tire and actually I used I think three tires to create really cool kind of sculpture with three tires so actually really nice so I always keep them, I'm not throwing them away, I mean, not selling them. Really another cool view of me fishing with my little friend. And just look at this. Uh, as you can see, the game has kind of a perspective view. If you're low angle, you can see things coming from far because like you are living on a little bowl. Like a very micro planet, so you can see things coming in, it's really nice. Actually makes the game really exciting especially for discovering thing. I usually use it to see the Toronto light night for far away. So this type of low angle, by the way, this is the lowest angle. You actually can't play with this lowest angle. It's just for, you know, uh, once you move, uh, it's going to change a bit higher. Uh, but this long angle really makes the game fun because you see things coming into view from far away. This is another part of the game in terms of visuals that makes me enjoy playing this game a lot. I mean, it's really beautiful aspect of the game. Doesn't make the world feel flat. I think this is on my island and not. Oh, I'm not sure actually. I think yes. Uh, yes uh, and here I cut another. Although it's not my island because this is the coconut now. Another huge ore fish. I quite uh, cut quite a few of those and a few I sell because they sell for a very high price. I think this one sells for like 15,000 bells. So it's worth uh, capturing them and uh, selling them. Maybe there's something you can craft with them, I have no idea. Again, I only played for a few days, but <laughs> I'm just getting started and there's so many things I can do. It's unbelievable. Now this is after a shop was already open, kind of a more advanced part in the game. And uh, now we can actually, there's a hot item which I can sell and get double price. And there are many other features open here. Uh, which allows you to uh, both to enjoy better uh, to any more uh, in terms of uh, the economical structure of the game uh, so it's really fun you have this kind of a stock market you can say items uh, you buy them ahead ahead of time um, uh, on Sunday and you can sell them later on during this week depending on the price uh, difference uh, you can see I'm meeting Daisy May and she is actually selling those uh, I forgot the name uh, soon we're gonna see it <laughs> I'm a new player so forgive me and you can actually buy those uh, vegetables and and uh, for a certain price if you decide to buy those then you can sell them uh, from Monday to Saturday for a uh, higher price or it depends again it can be even lower so you can lose like a stock market 
Yeah, that's the name. Turn turnip. <laughs> anyway, I bought a few. Uh, by the way, I tried to see the price right now. Today is um, making this video, and actually it was lower. I bought them. I think for oh yeah, I bought it for ninety four. I can see it in front of me, and um, they were actually selling about eighty something. So again, if I sell them, I'll lose. Yeah, because I need to sell them for a higher price. So actually, you have time. You need to check each day because the price changes each day. Uh, again, another kind of mini game in the game, which you can use and enjoy playing uh, throughout. And there's something to wait for for Sunday uh, to meet Daisy May and buy uh, those things from her. So make sure you make money, uh, enough money, so you can actually buy those uh, for her just in case. And you can earn quite a lot of profit. Depends on the on the value. Sometimes it's going to be high. Maybe you're going to want to wait more. But again, can the price can go up and down. Any, any given day. Here's another cool thing. I actually unlock some interactions. So there are visual interactions. Uh, as you can see, there's a new menu. Another thing that you discover in the game, which is unlock, you can actually interact with the other characters and interact with your back. Uh, so it's really cool. Actually forcing them to, to interact with me. You can see it's working. So again, as you can see, this game has new surprises as you progress. Uh, and it's really cool to discover it. Really cool. Now those like kind of things, surprises, meeting, parties, things that can happen. Uh, another thing that makes you excited and feel kind of a feeling of a community in this island. It's really nice. This was actually the new cranny opening when they opened this store. This was the opening day and I was so excited. So another building, another new discoveries, new cranny. And I'm the resident representative, and you need to say something, <laughs> just choose something, and look at the reaction. We are amazing! And everyone. <laughs> ah, the cutest. Speaking of that cute thing, this game is just the cutest. The Kawaii Force is totally 100% with this game. You can see that some of the bugs are so tiny that you actually can miss them and they ran away from me almost every time. But then I spent time looking at the flowers and then I saw this cute little red bug. You see it's very hard to see it, but once you stop it you can get ready. Here I actually need to sneak because it can fly away. So I use the A button, move slowly and then I capture it. This is the first time I think? Yeah, this was the first time I actually captured it. I actually missed it several times. This kind of feel bad but... They're gonna be there somewhere, uh, sometime, you know, in the future, so just you need to pay attention for it. Here I actually lost my uh, net, because I lost it, I used it many times, it's okay, you can always craft new ones. Now for those of you who are thinking, you know, there's not a lot to do in this game, yeah, there are a lot of things to do in this game. Actually, much more than I actually expected, I didn't expect this game to have so many things. But I, I think I eventually would come to things to craft and create your own island things and people will want just to create their home of the, dr the dream home in this island uh, but there are so many things so many things that i don't know about i didn't play even the original game uh, the previous installment sorry so the more uh, for example right now uh, i built three homes for the other uh, other visitors and uh, they actually came oh, i think only two came right now one probably will come tomorrow and you can interact with them and each one is special on its own way they give you new stuff and they have their own lines and it's just so much fun and then the island become you know more livelier look how beautiful the colors in this game the color palette in this game is just amazing it was built for relaxation it's so vibrant and colorful and even 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 the sea at night you can actually see the depth it's just gorgeous. You can actually see rocks underneath. Now you can't see it because the way of the sun uh, is, but at night you can see the depth and it's just, it's just beautiful. Now, I'm, oh yeah, actually now I'm uh, I'm just preparing for hitting the rock. This is an, another island that I was actually flying to uh, and I found gold. This is the first time I think I actually find gold. And it's kind of very rare material, probably allows you to build gold things. I mean, I read about it on the internet, and uh, this is cool. This is actually the first time I actually got it. Uh, so this is a very, very rare material. You don't get it often. Hmm? 
like as I mentioned, uh, if you're on the island on flying to another island and you need to build stuff, you can see there's a kind of a, a bench which you can use and you can actually uh, create new things with it if something breaks. As you can see, something falls. This is a, a rare thing that falls from the tree. Sometimes if you shake it, uh, this is a new recite uh, which you can use, which is cool because it just makes you want to shake every single tree. Maybe you're going to find something exempt from those bees that you need to run away from it but if you're going to check many trees it's going to be like this sometimes you're going to get those bees and you can see you can find different shells on the beach i guess i told you sometimes battles so you just go and run to by the way you can run in this game i didn't i play like a day and a half and i actually didn't know that i can run in this game and you can actually run in this game just pressing let me just check pressing the b button i think yeah the b button while running you can actually sprint that's why you see me always walking because i didn't know that this feature even exists i just discovered by mistake so you can actually run in this game here i'm just forcing interaction because i enjoy it so much it just makes you laugh it just makes you smile it makes you happy this game makes you relaxed and happy Here you can see me on another island, different shapes, variation, different things you can discover. Uh, I, I personally think, you know, uh, uh, different variations will be like a louder variation will be better. Still, I am enjoying it. <laughs> Here I discovered that if I jump on a hole, I actually get this. This is, was a new one for me. I didn't know this. That's why you should cover your holes, uh, which you can do, of course but just uh, tapping at the same place with your shovel. Look how beautiful uh, this part of the river looks, the waterfall. Uh, now it's raining. By the way, speaking of raining, some um, some fish and bugs can only found in certain months and a certain time of the day, and even if it's raining or not. And I guess some will be when it's, if it's, when it's winter, it will be like uh, if it's snowy or something. I have no idea, I haven't reached this, we need to wait for winter, as I told you, uh, this uh, happens in real time, so only when it's winter here, uh, it's going to be winter um, uh, winter in the game as well. Uh, this is, the, I think, the Tarantula, you see, she, it's noticed me, I need to be very, very careful. As you can see, now, see, it jumped, and I was able actually to capture it in time, Tarantula. It's worth a lot of money, so make sure you capture it. Now, as you can see, there's elevation here, but you can't actually climb it until you get the ladder. So when I saw it, there were cool things up, and I wasn't able to capture it uh, until I unlocked the ladder, and then I was able to climb things. And then I was able to reach there, find new stuff, and there are always rocks which you can use, of course, to get more items, or like stones and other important items that you need for crafting. And by the way, when you build those homes for the other tenants, you need a lot of materials, relatively a lot of materials, so you'll be finding yourself running craft and crafting quite a lot of stuff before you things can get in. So this game will definitely keep you busy. I mean, until now, I, I was not all the time, of course. We always have the time to just enjoy, relax, and... Uh, but there are times where you need to actually focus on uh, finishing certain missions because if not the uh, new arrivals won't arrive so you need to build their homes this is actually my stash at home and I keep many things there just in case so that's why I actually loot my island in order to get uh, new things and I keep it in the um, uh, in my in my house so if I need something, I just go and take it. And I also built myself a little uh, crafting bench near my, you see there, on the right side, which I can use to craft things instead of going to uh, Team Nook's place every single time. So I can just, oh, this is another tarantula. This way I was actually lucky. I was ready. I was already with the net out. I just turn around and capture it. I was lucky. I was actually surprised. But my heart like boom, boom, boom when I see this tarantula. One other cool thing is actually the photo mode. The photo mode is not so advanced, but it's really cool stuff that allows you to capture some really cool screenshots. As you can see here, it depends on the day and night. Some 
just turn out better than the others you can change the angle uh, so it's really cool sometimes when I see like a really nice beautiful and relaxing view I want to capture uh, some cool photos uh, by the way I'm going to show oh, this one was a big one <laughs> I'm going to show a few screenshots at the end of this video uh, so you can see some of the things that uh, you can actually use with this photo mode and of course because it's a photo mode you don't get to see the UI the user interface so you just uh, you can uh, choose the angle uh, even you move right up down left in order to uh, um, do the composition and then you can choose the filters that you like uh, even capture the attention using the kind of a uh, whistle button I think it's the right button so everyone looks uh, relatively towards the camera um, yeah it was really cool now actually remove uh, one video because I didn't want to spoil something but it really surprising so surprising the island that surprised me at night I was actually shocked I didn't expect it but I'm not gonna spoil it for you so I just removed this part of this video so you can discover it yourself but it was for me it was like, oh, oh, another thing when I didn't even expect anything suddenly something amazing happened was, this game it just keeps surprising you I'm telling you this was insane now excuse me for how my house look it will look better but I got actually this beautiful bed and light and painting I'm gonna spend time in decoration a bit later as you can see actually because it's two sides actually uh, I think two people can see it here I'm not sure uh, as you can see you can just roll on the bed it's so funny it's just so funny to look at and the the, uh, the work with they did with the camera angles just work flawlessly here in the house very simple to manage thing and get some good angles for photos uh, especially if you play this with friends which I haven't just yet I think it's going to be even more amazing so this is something really cool as you can see an interaction so it's really fun walking around there uh, seeing which object you crafted interacting with them and, and just try to imagine your future house how your future house would be like Here I actually capture one thing, it was for uh, one of the residents, uh, it's Cody, we, we actually fish together and we are actually after, uh, uh, he asked me to capture fish and I actually caught it and he gave me something. So those kind of NPCs character are there for you to interact with and discover things, uh, yeah, it was pretty cool, it was really nice, I really enjoyed it because just talking to him one time he didn't say too much. Uh, second time didn't say too much uh, and after this uh, uh, you know you see uh, right now I'm interacting with him he asked me which sport I like the soccer which I, I like soccer so this type of things you know <laughs> and they actually write some, so many lines for this game I'm telling you it's insane uh, later on he asked me you know to he fished and he asked me to um, to capture a fish and this is Sylvia. Sylvia is actually, uh, I don't know, sometimes she's weird, sometimes she, she is nice, sometimes she doesn't even want to talk to me, and just like this like kind of animation, like tell you go away from here, and okay, 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 I'm gonna leave you alone. So right, I don't know, maybe she's gonna open later on. I'm not willing her out just yet. She's cute though. Now take a look at the image. I think there's something that I can use later on. You see a shooting star in the background? This was a pretty cool. Kind of a shooting star falling down. I think that because sometimes I think you need it for something. So it was actually right there, a shooting star. It is beautiful. I'm not doing myself spoiler, so I'm not reading another one, you see? Another shooting star. So I'm not reading too much about it, but once I get there, I get there. This is kind of the game that I play in my own pace no rush this is something that allows me to actually preview how I look with different clothing something that I bought and uh, it's pretty cool and I actually decided <laughs> the eye by the way is because uh, the bees sting me I didn't cure it just yet this is the item that I bought and actually decided which this is actually my current look so I thought the flower is actually pretty cool and I actually used it and this is the look that I have now. Of course, it's going to change later on when I unlock new stuff. But this is how I actually look right now. This is one of my 
uh, latest videos. You can see 23rd, I actually recording this on the 23rd. And this video was actually captured today as of the time of me making this video. Here is such an adorable moment. Oh my god, this game surprising me. She was, I was just going there and, and she was singing like... I, I, was melt, I was melted, I'm telling you. This is just the cutest thing I've seen. And it, I've seen many cool things one on one in Japan. I actually was several months in Japan, by the way. Uh, the other year, but this was... Uh, this was just mind-blowing. I was just... I didn't expect this. And it was so cute to see it. Just beautiful. This type of things in this game that you don't expect and something something like this happens. Of course I had to talk to her. But because I know she is sensitive, yeah, between us she's very sensitive, don't want to make her angry. So what can I say? I promise you screenshot, so we're gonna move to the screenshot. But this game is definitely the best game that I play. I think it didn't entire five years that they play uh, and I play on PS4, Nintendo Switch and lately on the PC this is the one that I actually enjoy the most so I mean I'm gonna cover more things in later videos but just my opinion this is just for me it's the perfect game so let's take a look at some screenshots as you can see this is a beautiful the photo mode is just beautiful allows you to capture some moments the last time I enjoyed doing this is it was in No Man's Sky uh, photo mode which is incredible just incredible uh, so this is just generates so many cool moments and this is kind of your second life so you want to share the moments and uh, you know as you go and as you get more things and change them the kind of a history of the place of the island so capture those moments with you just a beautiful a beautiful a beautiful game that's what I have to say I'm relaxed and I'm happy when I play it and just Thank you for making this game. It was way over than I imagined it to be. I'm enjoying it so much. So with this, I'm just going to leave you here. I'm going to share more uh, videos. Uh, and if you want to get this game, uh, you wanted to get this game and you wasn't sure, uh, there are more surprises than I have adventure here. Tons more. Yeah, I just touch a few things. Tons more. Uh, get this game. Have fun. Even if you are not the type of person who you might think you will enjoy this game, as as myself, yeah, as I told you, I'm enjoying this game a lot. And instead of playing Overwatch, <laughs> I'm actually playing this game. <laughs> just think about it. Uh, for me, just I didn't expect it. So have fun with this game. And uh, if you want to contact me, you can leave a comment. We can even play together. Invite each other to the island. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, so it'd be great to have friends in the game. Uh, as well as so we can play online together. Have fun. Bye-bye.